Coates. I'm an architect, interior designer and product designer. I work in London and Italy. I don't really see interior design as a discipline. I see it as a phenomenon. I kind of call it atmos. When something special happens in interior, which isn't just functional or stylistic, it needs to communicate something extra, not just to a visitor, but the person who lives in it, who's familiar with it. It needs to create a, a warmth, cause a kind of alchemy in the way you exist in it. I've done so many interiors, it's hard to remember all of them. But the one that was really a breakthrough for me, and the one that had reflected much of my theoretical work uh, uh, in architecture, was Café Bongo in Tokyo, which was on the busiest corner in Tokyo at the time, busiest pedestrian corner, more people than anywhere else in the world. And I based it on Fellini's La Dolce Vita, which may sound completely wild, but I still assert that the crashed aircraft into that department store building was calm compared with the other nonsense that was going on up and down the street. There was an aircraft wing at the top of the window. Charles Jenks described it as a crash. I, I would see it more as a kind of fusion of the biggest object that symbolizes movement and the architectural condition of the window. I'm proud this year to be the chair of the jury for the Inside Festival in Singapore. What I want to see is the translation of an idea. If it's just based on style and nice finishes, even clever organisation, that's not enough. That idea then needs to translate into some kind of sensual experience, it needs to capture you. It's hard to say or predict what's actually going to win. But whenever I'm judging a competition, the important thing is to be open to every possible style, idea, manner of working. But look for that project which passes a threshold and actually creates a sort of chemistry for me. Interiors can be dismissed. But if we're talking about excellence, I think it's just as hard to do a good interior as it is to do a good building.